So it's not often that I get to show you guys my neck of the woods. Now here on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, we love to be outdoors. So let me throw you the ultimate outdoor picnic. I'm gonna do the food. And I'm gonna make the drinks. So up here, Trish, we're really famous for our Mooloolabar King prawns. They are super delicious. And my friend Jordan here has got some for me straight off the trawlers this morning. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how you're just standing by, Trish. I'll do the hard work, no worries. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty! Oh, so nice to see you again. Now, you may remember Scotty from such episodes as the Gin and Tonic Trail, where things went a little bit sideways. This is Trish. Hi Trish, nice to meet so you. So great to meet you. Look at our sweet ride. Yeah. Last time I saw Trish, we were in a limo. We were very naughty. Oh, wow. we'll try not to be so naughty in the combi. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. So cute. <laughs> I feel like it's so like sunshine coasty. I love the Malulaba King prawn. It's a big, juicy prawn. Perfect for what I'm gonna be making at the picnic. It's gonna be like an Asian salad kind of vibe going on. Perfectly fresh, actually. It'll go really well with the drinks that you're making. But yeah, the Malulaba prawn is a very famous Australian prawn for our American friends out there. Uh, Australian shrimp. <laughs> What should we make first? The first cocktail I learned how to make as a bartender, which is the mojito. Oh, cool. Super refreshing. Yeah, nice. I'm into that. So what do we need for a mojito? Typically in a mojito, you need a few ingredients such as rum, lime, mint, sugar, soda. So it sounds a bit complicated, doesn't it? Did you bring all that? Because I did it. <laughs> Funnily enough, I am going to show you the easiest way to make a mojito in the world and you only need two ingredients. Oh, I love that. <laughs> 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 okay, can you walk me through the drink? Absolutely. Now, everything we need to make a bar quality mojito is already in this bottle and we just have to add rum. Yeah, cool, let's go. So, first we're going to add our delicious rum, good quality white rum, add mint to a highball glass, ice, and top with Fever Tree Mojito Mixer. Ooh, it's fizzy. Cool. <laughs> and a sprig of mint. Nice. Mm. Oh. Well, that's delicious. Tasty. <laughs> so good. How easy was that? Oh, I'm excited for today already. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely impressed with this mixer, Trish. Really, really yum. How easy was that? Now, I must know, where are we going to next? Mm. I forgot you don't know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you to my bougie picnic spot at Point Cartwright. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mm, me too. <laughs> Come down and have some prawns later. Oh, I will. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. What a nice day. So as promised, I am doing the food. Now, I have a couple of really good tips for how to get the best kind of picnic food. The first one is keep it nice and simple, but really good ingredients. My first one here is a green pawpaw. So a green pawpaw is simply an unripe pawpaw. Now the traditional way to do this is to take the skin off with your knife. So here is the Asian mama way of doing the pawpaw. It's a little bit danger mouse, but I'll show you. But you just kind of like get in here with your knife, keep your fingers underneath the pawpaw. Now once you've got a kind of good base there, you can just slide your knife across and then you've got these lovely little shards. So this is what we're looking for. You get really nice fine strips, love that. Okay, that's gonna be a great base for the salad. Let's build the rest of the salad ingredients. To make the dressing, I need some finely chopped red chili. I'm gonna add some garlic, sugar, fish sauce, and white vinegar. Just give that a shake in the jar so the sugar starts to dissolve. I'm just gonna crush some peanuts because I take my water and pistol everywhere. This is probably a bit OTT for you guys at home. You can crush some peanuts at home. Okay, so that's pretty much all the hard work done. <laughs> Really simple. For the rest of the salad, I'm gonna add my cooked Malulaba King prawns. Look at how big and juicy these prawns are. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Such a great local product here, but you could use any other prawns or shrimp local to your area as well. Now I need some Thai basil, coriander. I've got some mint. I stole some mint from Trisha's mojito. And then limes, which is fortuitous that we're also having margaritas later. Ah, oh, 
so exciting. It's so fresh and lovely. We're outside. And now we can mix everything together. So pour the dressing over the top of your papaya mixture and the prawns, toss everything. I mean, look how fresh and beautiful that looks. It smells so good right now. To make eating easier, I'm gonna use lettuce and make little lettuce cups with these. So I'm just gonna pop my prawn salad into these lettuce cups. Everything can be eaten as it is. And then just some peanuts at the end here. Okay, so I'm ridiculously excited. Look at that, it's so fresh, so nice. Ah, oh, my work here is done because now Trish is gonna make me a drink, aren't you Trish? Now Marion, I'm so excited to make you one of the most popular cocktails on the planet, the margarita. Again, we're having this nice little picnic setting, so we want to make it as simple as possible. Now, in a margarita, typically you'll have tequila, orange liqueur, lime, shaken with the salt rim. We're going to make you a simple version today. So we're starting with a glass. We're going to give it a little bit of a salt rim. Now, I like to do a half salt rim um, because in something that I'm going to add shortly it already contains a little bit of salt. Add our tequila. Next, we're gonna add the Fever Tree Margarita Cocktail Mixer, which contains the world's most premium limes, Sicilian orange oil, and a little bit of Scottish sea salt. So we're just gonna pop that in with our tequila. And finally, we're just gonna add our ice. And there you go, it's as simple as that. Tequila, cocktail mixer, and a garnish, and you're done. Look at that. Marion, I'm so excited for you to try one of these. Very excited about this, Trish. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God, I'm so glad you love it. I know you're a Margie fan. Yes, and I'm very fussy about margaritas, so this is really game changing. I love it. Oh, so there you go, guys. That is my very easy picnic kind of situation for you all. Drinks, prawns, everything. Good company. Good company, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's so fresh and yum. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. So much flavor. I love this for us. I me too. <laughs> <do. laughs>